Here we are. Welcome. Hello, everybody. Happy Hump Day. It is Wednesday, February 24th. Yes, it is. Okay. Our top story today is... What are the three questions you should ask yourself when you are thinking about selling your home? Right, uh, very important that you cover these before you put your home on the market because you could sure end up in a bind in a hurry because it is going to sell. That's right. That you cover these. It's very busy out there in the market and sellers are uh, getting over asking multiple offers. Uh, it's a great time to be a seller. So we thought, you know, what are the three questions that you are probably asking yourself if you're thinking about selling? That's right. It's a great time to be a buyer too with historically low interest rates. That's right. But the number one question you need to ask yourself before you list your home with us is... Where are you going? Where are you headed? It's always the first thing we ask when we go on an appointment is where are you headed? Uh, do you know where you want to go? Are you moving in state, out of state, down the street, or out of the country? Where are you going is the first question that we want to know and that you are probably asking yourself. That's right. I don't think anybody would list their home on the market and not have a place to go, but it does happen because the place you were planning on going, something changes there, things happen differently. Oh, I'm gonna move in with this relative, then that relative lists their house for sale. Or I'm gonna move in with this person or that person. Plans change, so it's always nice to have plan A, B, C, D. How far do you go? That's right. <laughs> That's right. Our number two reason that kind of goes along with that once you know where you're going is number two re reason is what's your timeline? That's right. Do you want to be out in 30 days, 60 days, 90 days? Does it want to be at the end of the year? Maybe next year, but at least you have a plan. Now you know where you're going to go, and now what time do you want to be there, right? Right, and those timelines have definitely collapsed based on the market statistics. The days on market have gone down, so when you list your house, you need to be prepared to go. So you need to have started on your Paring down and getting ready to move and getting rid of your things and getting your home uh, ready and getting packed because once you list your home in this market, you are going to be moving. <laughs> That's right. <You're laughs> Get ready to go. That's right. So, number three Our is... number three reason questions to ask yourself is what's your strategy? What is your lifestyle strategy? Are you moving up? Are you moving down? Are you one of the 28% of people that have thought about moving or are planning on moving in the next year. 20% um, of people are now working from home full time, which has freed up their, uh, their options. And most of the people that are thinking about moving right now are moving for two reasons. Number one, they can move somewhere that has a lower cost of housing. And the number two um, reason is they can move closer to family. So they don't, have, they don't necessarily have to be near their job now and have figured out not only how to work from home, but they are homeschooling their children too. <laughs> I know, yes, and if you move closer to family, then you got a little help homeschooling the kids. That's right, that's right. So those are the two reasons, and I was surprised this article I just found that uh, besides the statistics there, about 20% of people are thinking about moving uh, in the coming year. That's a lot of people. I mean, that's one in five has thought about or planning on moving. So I think that uh, should that come to be, it'll free up some of our inventory issues that we've been having here um, if people really start to move around here as the curve on the pandemic seems to be coming down uh, i think people are going to be ready to get out and make changes they would I, it, I think that falls under the question number three on lifestyle and strategy you know a lot of people now have a lot of equity in their homes they didn't have a year ago especially around here they're up 20 percent january to january and that's 20% extra you didn't have. Now you're going to take that money and invest in multifamily, or you're going to invest in a rental property, or you're going to put it in the stock market. There's a lot of different strategies that come in under lifestyle that can change not only the way you're going to behave until you pass that on to your children and possibly even to their children. That would be a lot of wealth if you had a two to three generation wealth. That's right. Um, another thing I thought was interesting that the sales of moving supplies have skyrocketed in the past year. And also that pounding that on corrugated boxes and tape 
So uh, those scales on those things have gone up five-fold in the last year. So I thought that was another interesting statistic. Um, and so have office supplies. So I think the office supply sales have gone off the charts because people are out there buying their own instead of getting it at the office. That's what I, oh, I'm not going to use that then. <laughs> <laughs> well, you would think that the cardboard would actually go down because, I mean, everybody's recycling their cardboard just like we do, right? So isn't that all recycled? So the price, I guess, supply and demand always works out where lower supply, higher demand, higher pricing. Naturally. That's right. So if you are thinking about uh, selling and moving this year, we'd love to sit down and talk to you and ask you these three questions and see what your plan is and what you're thinking, what fits for your family, uh, where you're going, if you're moving up, moving down, buying a retirement home, buying a vacation home. Um, all of those things are possible. Buying multifamily. Uh, there's a lot of opportunity. There is. I read an article that said 50% of the people now, after the pandemic, aren't going to have to go back to their offices. Man, that's a lot of people, 50%. That's a lot, for sure. It is. Okay, so do you have any other statistics for us? I think I covered them here. <laughs> I just thought that it was interesting that we have a lot of people that are interested in moving. Uh, so we just wanted to have this conversation about what are the three things you're probably asking yourself if you are getting ready to move in the... 2021 or 2022 making your lifestyle strategy that's right we're part of that plan uh definitely ink us in we'll come over we'll talk about it we'll help you and then we can take it from there what do you think lisa sounds like a plan <laughs> okay garylisa.com your real estate edge let's go back to work <laughs>